We all know that fairy tales don't exist. Stories like Cinderella and Snow White are but children's stories. Yet in our hearts, we long for fairy tale endings. In 2009, our main speaker at Shekinah Camp, Michael Stevens, shared a, me uh, shared a message about how we are living in the ultimate fairy tale story, with Jesus as our prince and heaven as our kingdom. This play is a childlike portrayal of how much our God loves us. So sit back, relax, and we hope you enjoy the story. Once upon a time, in an enchanted kingdom far, far away, there lived a kind, noble, and suave king. The king had an only son, whom he loved very, very much. the king could ever want in a son. The prince was handsome. <laughs> he was strong. And very wise. Because the noble prince obeyed and loved the king, it pleased the king very much. So when it came time for the prince to get married, the king found the most beautiful and graceful bride in all the land. <laughs> when the prince set his eyes upon her, he knew that he had found his true love. that he decided to give her the entire kingdom. All that he possessed would be hers. He also gave her many wonderful and precious gifts. <laughs> he also gave her many wonderful and precious gifts. The best gift of all was a magical crown. This crown would allow the princess to live forever. But not all was rainbows and happy candy in this kingdom, for there was an evil, evil presence. The kingdom of darkness led by none other than the evil Jews who wanted to rule the kingdom. But he especially hated the prince. 
His life goal was to tear down the kingdom and become the most dreadful evil Jew ever. He looked for any opportunity to overthrow the prince. One day, the prince and the princess went out for a walk in the garden. As each day passed, they continued to grow in their love for one another. When the evil dude saw this, it made him sick. He wanted to puke. He wanted to scare the prince and princess apart. He knew that if he could put his enchanted bracelet on the princess, she would lose her memory and be chained to him forever. When the evil duke saw his evil chance, he made his evil move. His plan was to tell the princess that she was that there was much greater things outside this world. And in order to be a part of it, she would have to exchange her crown for his bracelet. Enchanted bracelet himself and became a slave. 